We've got it all. There are nearly a half million businesses here. Retail sales more than $50 billion a year. And our people are among the leaders in the nation in professional and technical training. Ours is a stable workforce. Per capita income is $600 above the national average. Each year, more than 300 manufacturers build new plants here. We're still growing. We are New York State, a good place to live, work, and grow. from the Huron, Michigan, Superior, down through Lake Erie on its way to the sea, the mighty Niagara plunges toward Ontario. Each year, more than five million sightseers visit the falls and marvel at the forces of nature. 90 million gallons of water over the edge each minute. But the Niagara is more than just beauty. It's power a clean, unending source of power to run the modern businesses of New York State. The hydroelectric facilities at the falls are the largest in the free world. It was a frontier outpost until the completion of the Erie Canal. Today, Buffalo is New York's second largest city and a major inland port. 
New York State handles nearly a quarter of the nation's exports and imports. Lake Erie gives Buffalo residents an ideal spot to relax. It's one of New York's two Great Lakes, and it's filled with four seasons of recreational fun. Old Fort Niagara guards the mouth of the river at Lake Ontario. It was built by the French in 1679 and has served three nations. Today, French, British, and American flags fly in commemoration of the fort's historic past. In the 1800s, an idea was born. Mix summer recreation with education and study. It began here at Chautauqua Institute in 1874. The idea soon spread beyond New York. It became the fashion for towns all over the country to hold their own Chautauquas. Many no longer exist, but the original is still here in New York and it's still going strong. Nowhere is the beauty of winter more likely to show itself than in this southwest corner of the state where snow and ice create an art form all their own. Rochester, New York, the home of photography. A typical upstate city surrounded by countryside. Rochester is also the home of the George Eastman House, an historic landmark where visitors can see how picture taking began. Urban life has changed greatly in recent years. Nowhere is this more in evidence than in upstate New York. People of all different cultural backgrounds are returning to the cities and rediscovering the excitement and fun of urban living. Most upstate cities are built on rivers. The Genesee provides Rochesterians with their own brand of fun, an annual raft race. From the fruit orchards along Lake Ontario to the lilacs here in Rochester's Highland Park, the Finger Lake area is alive during the growing season. The land here is fertile and will grow just about anything. At Sonnenberg Gardens on Canandaigua Lake, growing things has reached a state of near perfection. Small-town life in New York is much like it is anywhere. The pace is a little slower, people know each other, there's room to grow. There are almost 1,000 villages and towns in New York with fewer than 5,000 people in them. The big events of summer usually include a good old-fashioned parade. And after the parade, maybe a band competition.
The gentle slopes along the Finger Lakes combine warm days and cool nights to produce some of the finest grapes in the world. Jams and jellies and about 15 million gallons of wine are produced from each harvest. Near the Finger Lakes lie Letchworth and Stony Brook State Parks. These marvels of nature have been carved by water and time. There are more than 200 institutions of higher learning in New York State. They offer undergraduate and graduate programs in science, engineering, management, and liberal arts. The State University's expansion program has made a quality education affordable through its many campuses around the state. There is also a statewide system of two-year community colleges and agricultural and technical institutes. The Corning Glass Works and Glass Center Museum attract nearly a million visitors annually. 3,500 years of glass making history is on exhibit here. About 15,000 objects are on display in the museum and science hall. Skilled artisans demonstrate hand forming of art glass at the center's Stuben factory. Central New York is the home of Baseball's Hall of Fame. Each year, thousands of visitors pass through Cooperstown and stop to pay their respects to baseball's greats. And once each year, two major league teams come to town and meet at the Abner Doubleday Field to honor the founder of the game and to play ball. Cooperstown is also the home of the Farmers Museum. Located near the historically rich lands of the Mohawk Valley, the museum is an exhibit to a way of life that once was New York State. In the early years, farming was the root of the state's economy. Today, with all the business and commerce that New York is famous for, the state's largest industry remains agriculture. Atlantic to Lake Erie, the St. Lawrence to Pennsylvania, lies some of the finest farmland in the world. These were the lands that were settled by the pioneers as they migrated west of the mountains. Today, New York farmers are among the leaders in the nation in the production of fruit, vegetables, and dairy products. They call them the Thousand Islands, but actually, 1,834 islands stretch 50 miles along the upper St. Lawrence River. It's a summer playground for fishing and boating, and it's claimed to be one of the finest freshwater fishing grounds in the world. This, of course, is all part of the St. Lawrence Seaway. It's the longest inland navigation system on the continent and allows ocean-going freighters direct access to ports like Detroit, Chicago, and Duluth. The border between the United States and Canada winds its way among the islands, making this a vacation playground with an international flavor.
The only requirements for living in this area are a love of the water and a strong desire for relaxation. Like everywhere in New York State, the Adirondacks are a land of four seasons. The vibrant colors of fall signal the end of the growing seasons and remind us that winter is not far away. Winter snow brings a kind of purity to this landscape of more than two million acres of state-owned wilderness. There's a lot to love about skiing in New York. People come from near and far to the 85 different ski centers spread around the state. At Whiteface, a 3,216-foot vertical drop is the highest in the east. And the ever-present frost-covered tops of Gore Mountain give skiers a view which is hard to match. New York skiers have a wide variety of slopes to choose from. There are the steep valleys of the Adirondacks and the gentle contours of the Alleghenies and Catskills. You don't have to be a downhill skier to enjoy this season. When winter comes, New Yorkers make the most of it. A modern state demands a modern government. But it's not just the shiny new buildings. State government in Albany is planning for the future with special loans and tax incentives to help businesses expand and individuals to prosper. To some, Saratoga means mineral baths and bubbling waters. For others, it marks the turning point of the American Revolution, where gentleman Johnny Burgoyne met his match. But for racing enthusiasts, Saratoga means just one thing thoroughbred racing at its very best.
clean air, peaceful mountain streams, and lakes of unending beauty. The Catskills are as different from the other mountains in the state as the Rockies are from the Appalachians. It's a land of trees and forests, a refuge for animals and people alike. It's only a short drive from New York City, yet it's a world apart. The Catskills are most famous for their fashionable resorts. For over a century, this area has played host to vacationers from the city who want to get away from home without leaving its advantages behind them. The atmosphere is friendly, the cuisine superb. A good meal is followed by an evening of entertainment. This area is the home away from home of the Broadway crowd. And of course, it goes without saying that these super resorts feature all the essentials, such as indoor and outdoor pools, tennis courts, year-round ice skating, and some of the finest golf courses in the world. Everything is geared to providing unsurpassed relaxation for anyone who visits a resort in the Catskills. up the Hudson and across the Erie Canal. This is the way the settlers of the 1800s shipped their goods to and from the great Eastern markets. Today, the Hudson remains a river of commerce as barges and freight haulers push their cargoes north and south on its waters. The Hudson cuts its way peacefully between the Catskill and Taconic Mountains. As you head north from New York City, you come to a bend in the river, West Point the site of the United States Military Academy. Established in 1802, the Academy has been the training ground for some of our greatest military leaders. During the Civil War, commanders on both sides were West Point graduates. Four. Army's success on the gridiron has been pretty impressive over the years. Well, some years are better than others. New York is the seashore, its lighthouses and craggy shorelines, its gentle surf, sand dunes, and ocean breezes. Long Island is the largest island on the Atlantic seaboard, 125 miles long, 23 miles wide. Today, Long Island is home to 2.8 million people and host to 50 million visitors annually. They come to walk the beaches, to surf cast, and to enjoy the treasures of the sea. But mostly, they come to play in the sun. New York City needs no map reference to tell where it's located. It's at the heart of everything. It's a city of many cultures, and it's a city dedicated to culture. It's the center for world trade. It's the economic capital of the nation. It's the city of superlatives. It is New York City.
is a city, New York is a state. There is no other like it. We've got it all. There isn't another like it, no matter where you go. And nobody can compare it. It's great in place and show, you know. New York is special, you know. New York is more than lakes and mountains and farms and cities. New York's strength comes from its people and from a special quality of life which is found here. I don't know, I don't know. 